Hi guys, Andy Crowley here again. And in this lesson, I'm going to be covering the G major pentatonic scale in open position. Now, this is the ideal choice of scale and is certainly the easiest scale that we can use to play over any of the chords that were in the key of G. Now, I covered the key of G in the previous lesson and we've got some recommended chord sequences there as well and strumming patterns in the first couple of videos that uh, you can use to play those chord sequences with. So in this lesson, this is going to be very much a lead bass guitar lesson covering the notes that we're going to be playing and then we'll be covering some melodic patterns with them in the final lesson so that you guys can play some melodies and basically have a jam with your friends or record yourself and have a jam over what you're playing. So the G major pentatonic scale uses um, the notes from the G major chord and we're going to be adding a few different notes to that commonly using the open strings as, as, as well and it sounds like this as a quick demonstration and in reverse order so fairly short sequence and we're always going from a single note to the open string making it one of the easiest scales to play um, so let's get in for a close-up and let's check out how to play this so here we are for a close-up on your G major pentatonic scale so we're going to start on a G note and this is the same note that you would start with any way that you would play a G major chord it's where your middle finger would be and we're going to start on that middle finger as well make sure you're at the high side of the fret so that it sounds a lot better, it will sound a lot better if you're at this side of the fret and then we go to the open string so the open A, string 5 second fret on string 5 and then we're, once you're on the string 5 from there for the next few strings you're going to go open to second fret, open to second fret but I want us to stop on the G note on the open G string, string three. So as a demo first of all, we got string six, middle finger down, open A, second fret on the A, open D string, second fret on the D, and then finally, just for now, the open third string which is a G so therefore we've gone from a G note to a G note and this interval is called an octave so the distance between these notes is an octave and they are the same notes just what we call an octave apart they're the next that's the next G up that we have and between those two notes we've played five notes taking us up one two three four five and then we have the open G again which is the first note of the next five that's why this scale is called the pent a tonic scale pent is five like a pentagon one two three four five and then this is one of the next five okay so we need to be really sure of these first five notes and those first five I have tabbed out in the lesson notes accompanying this lesson but also we have a diagram which looks like this now this is your guitar neck and the single dots show where you're putting your fingers like on a chord diagram however we're not putting all those dots down at one time we're putting them down individually and most people to start off with kind of prefer the tab but if you get used to this way of memorizing a scale you can visualize it easier on your fretboard so we have this kind of G chord shape and all these second frets of the the middle strings as well so one two three four five six is on the diagram and then all the open strings as well to play the second octave we start from that G and go to the second fret on that same third string open second string third fret on the same string open E 
And finally, middle finger again on the first string. So those five notes again, we've got the open one to start us off with. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're ending on a G note, which means we're starting from that one again, or it kind of finishes at the one. Now to practice this scale, I would like you to use a definite pause on that middle third string. And if you've never played any scale before, the best way to do it is go all the way from the lowest note to the highest note and then back down again, which is one complete cycle. And when we do our cycles, I'd like you to pause on that middle one and even just to get used to it, um, cycle the, the thicker strings, that first octave, and then cycle the, the thinner strings on separate to the thicker ones rather than just going through the whole thing. This is going to be really important from the next lesson and when you start improvising or learning songs with this scale because songs, real songs and real riffs start and will end on those octaves. It becomes such a bonus to your playing if we can get this concept of starting and ending on that G note because that's what the real songs will do and it gets you used to the way that it sounds as well. Sorry, my picking is sucking on the... Uh, That's the way that I would like you to practice this scale. And as I say, you've got those two ways to see the thing written down. So from the tab, it starts off on third fret of the thickest E string, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0 for that first octave. And that's in the lesson notes accompanying this lesson.